Charlie Cannons, Charlie Cannons, boom, 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 we are the pirates. Hello and welcome everyone to another exciting episode of the Super Carlin Gaming Amiibo Challenge, where we are trying to defeat these five Amiibo characters. We had six, we defeated one. Yeah, oh, we boy. did. Oof. We did. I will tell you that me and Ben, we, we've been doing some off-season practicing here against uh, dear old Cloud. Um, I have, we've probably played him a hundred times, I've defeated him once. Uh, so yeah, it can but, be done. But you are getting way better <laughs> against yeah, him. Yeah, it is making it's, me very good with Wolf. Yeah, it. <laughs> it's, been, it's been very fun. Uh, but yeah. I think whenever Jay and I have like a lull, the game is just basically open in the office at all times. We'd like run upstairs and play a quick round. Yeah, let me, let me uh, vent some anger on Cloud here. Usually I just walk away with anger. I know, yeah, no, it really doesn't help. Just right. like now, now it's worse. Okay, Now I'm cool. even more mad. Great. Oh boy, but so we haven't seen uh, Joran or Professor X yet, I believe. Oh, really? Is it the ghost? Yeah. But uh, oh boy, here we go. Joran, uh, who was who was going first? Ben is going oh, first. Oh, oh Ben! Who me. will yeah. Ben be playing today? Number one. Oh, Joran. Joran. Oh, this, this could be rough. This could be rough. Let's see. So you got to clear out the other ones. There you go. Oh, mm -hmm. is that something I can do too? Oh, okay, so, yeah. There we go. Okay. All right. Okay. I've been playing with my, my good pal Incineroar. Incineroar. I don't, Interesting I have, choice. Yeah, I have no idea. It's, I feel like I've been able to, to up my ante against Cloud a little bit with this guy, uh, even though I really don't feel like I play him that well. Um, I don't know, we'll see. We we'll shall see. see. I know I have, I have juiced up Joran pretty good, although that didn't seem like it was the most dangerous attack. That yeah, he's, like all, he's only at 10%, so. Yeah, you're not like immediately at 35. That, that, that was worse. Okay. We shall see. Ooh. Oh, boy. Yeah. That's <laughs> All right, so. so shall we have a question? Yes. Yeah. Today's question is from Austin. Austin says, hey, Jordan, DK, and the bros. So ah. putting oh, me first. Oh, last wow. Wow. Oh, yeah, wow. that's a, that's a Classic handy way to way get to... Jordan's attention. I see how it is. Last semester, I joined the eSports club at my university. You have an, okay. That's fun. That's uh -huh. super cool. Anyway, go on. This semester, I was college. asked to step up into a club oh, leadership position. The way that the club works is that for each game, there is a specific game manager. And then above all of the game managers are the different club officers, like president, treasurer, etc. I am the game manager of Hearthstone, and the problem is that the president plays the game I'm in charge of and constantly is stepping on my toes when it comes to this game. How do I tell the president, who would be considered above me or my boss? Oh, no! Oh, ben. Oh, ben. oh, no! I just went the wrong just way. Went the wrong I was way. like, I was perfectly teed up to do yeah, the, the it V. It was looking great, and then I wasn't. Uh, um, that, uh, how do I tell the, the president, who would be considered my boss here, uh, that I had an idea in mind of how I wanted to lead, but I can't do that because he's essentially running the section of the club that I'm supposed to be running. Oh boy. This is like a, a thing that I feel like comes up very frequently with, with our audience in particular. Does It gives me like a wondering uh, about like what it is about like our people that, that land themselves in like leadership positions and then um, feel like maybe they're having a hard time leading it? Is that is that true? Yeah. I feel like we've answered uh, a, at least a similar concept question before. No, I have um, I have some actual experience with this to a degree. Um, so at my my old position, uh, I, we did, I did marketing at an event venue. Uh, I think I've mentioned it. No, and, I don't think no. I have. <laughs> and uh, so the general manager of the building was the old director of marketing. Um, so it was very frustrating to go into other meetings where you would hear her listen to and just accept whatever operations or event services or the box office would say. She's just like, okay, cool, thanks for the update. Can you explain this to me? But if you got to marketing, she had tons of input. Oh, and it because, was just like, no, oh, this is sure. how we're going to do it because this is how I did it and I'm the boss now, so this is how we're going to do it. Right. And it was right. extremely frustrating because you were just like, why do nothing, I, my ideas don't matter. If you have an idea, I, like, there were meetings where it would be like, let's discuss this. And you're like, let's, I, I know how this meeting is going to go. Everyone's going to say their idea and then we're going to do what she says. That's right. what's going to happen. <laughs> right. Right. So, really, what you want to do here is, um, most of the time, the advice with stuff like this is to uh, over-communicate with people. That's normally the solution with stuff. This, I would say, what you want to do is under-communicate. Just do stuff. Don't ask. Don't tell. Just do it. Just schedule it. Pretend you're the president of the whole club, basically. Or pretend it's just a Hearthstone club, essentially. And uh, you're just doing stuff. 
They put you in charge if they ever have questions like, wait, I don't remember this. You're like, well, you put me in charge, so. Uh, so you, you put me yeah. in charge. Like, yeah, so it's it's sort of falling into that, like, it's easier to uh, beg forgiveness than ask permission. Yes, that's exactly what it is. It's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. just do your job. If you're checking with them about everything or whatever, they're always going to give you, they're always going to tell you what to do instead. Right, right, right. Yeah, there's, yes. there's absolutely, there, there's a lot to that tune where, like, sometimes it's better to just go about doing things. And the other thing, too, is, like, if you ask for input, then like a lot of times people are going to give you input, and if like right. the input they give you is not something that you like had originally planned out, it's almost like right. it would have just been better to just do it than, right. than to ask. Yeah, if all you want is yes men, then uh, and you're not surrounded by them, then you should not ask them because it's just going to frustrate you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, but I mean, learning, learning to, uh, I think, be oh, a, a good Leonard leader also means like taking these things into consideration so that like yeah it sounds event, like your leader is awful <laughs> it, right, right right but that means that like if you ever become the president like if you ever become this person you have to try to keep in mind what it was like when you were there right and i think that's Ooh. the thing that's so hard for people so this was my experience um like all through high school sports where it seemed like the the captains of every team you know they always had to go through like they were the youngest kids once upon a time and therefore they had to do the um you know uh hazing of the new kids or whatever you had to carry the coolers and pack up the cones and do all the stuff right and it seemed like the the grade directly above me was just so excited to have gone from the younger people to being the bigger people. And instead of like having sympathy for all of those things, they just loved to reign terror. Oh. Like they oh my loved, gosh, sure. yeah. they loved the power. Right. And I this feel like- no good at all. Right. So for right. me right. instead, I felt like I always, when I, when I became captain of the team, tried to take on a completely different perspective instead of the like, you know, like as, as a leader, I felt like it was good to go and help the freshmen like carry the bucket or whatever. Sure. You know, and, and I, I think that uh, you were a much better leader than all of those other kids oh my God. initially well, experienced. I agree, because it, 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 it's a classic fork in the road where you can either decide, I was treated this way, so I, that gives me liberty to treat other people yeah. this way, or you can decide, I was treated that way, so I don't want to treat people that way because I know how it was. And, right, uh, right. Yeah, I had this experience in like um, a couple of internships or whatever, yeah, where it was just like, I do not like the way I'm being treated at all. So whenever I have interns, I, I would like I would never like treat them like, oh yeah, you're gonna have to put in all this, put in your dues yeah. or whatever. You're, like, like, you're, you're friends with you. one of the interns you had. Oh yeah, yeah, like, one of my one interns, of your, like closest friends. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, I feel like that was definitely better. Just treat them like a regular employee. Treat them the, the it's always it's always the golden rule, right? Like treat people the way you want to be treated. But I think what people often forget about that is that it's a one way street. <laughs> like they're like, oh, that treat people the way you want to be treated does not mean expect to be treated the way that you, you treat, treat them. other people. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. mean yeah. Um, that is absolutely right. true. Uh, that, well, at least I, I would say is, is right. yeah. Um, so a thought that I have for this particular situation, um, where the the leader is sort of stepping on this person's toes is maybe give them, give the president, a leader, some sort of task or, or goal that they exclusively would be really good at doing and, and sort of ask them for help because that can endear people to you anyway. Um, there's just like, I, I forget what the psychology behind that is, but if you ask someone for help. Um, yeah, it's the, uh, the Ben Franklin thing from... Uh, yeah, that's what it is. Where, yeah, if you're, if you're ask, asking somebody for... Uh, help, even if, especially if they don't like you, um, or like it's perceived that they don't like you, um, can actually make them like you more. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So the president would, for example, be the best person to foster collaborations between the different game managers, or sure. oh. um, maybe set up a, a, oh. a specific game day where he or she has to be the point person for all of the game managers and be like, okay, we're going to have a big thing and we need everybody to sort of manage their little corners of it but can you be the overriding overarching person because that person would be the best suited to sort of facilitate that interaction between everybody and might give you a little bit more freedom in your particular corner sure 
Okay, so with within the, I, I do agree. Like, I, I think that there's absolutely so much to be said for like the, hey, can you do me like a favor or something, or asking somebody for help. That was like one of these things when I was doing the aquarium company, like with donors and stuff. One of the ways that they they like really like to, for us to reach out to people was like, hey, I know you're a fisherman. We're going to collect fish for the river display today. Would you like to come out to the river with me and help me sane? Which is like stretching a big net across the river and like kicking rocks and collecting up like little minnows and sort of sorting through it. It's like, it's a down and dirty job and it's like a super like labor intensive job. But the people who went out and did it felt so ridiculously yeah. connected to the project Absolutely. all of a sudden mm -hmm. to where like I just leveled the playing field between myself and you know this guy who owns a like a local company worth millions of dollars or whatever, sure. you know, right. um, and and it's a weird way where me just this like 23 year old kid was able to then be on like a a, a playing field that was reasonably even. Too. Um, but the other thing that I think would be interesting is like the earn your stripes. So is Hearthstone the type of game where you can like compete with one another? Yeah, yeah and uh, yeah, you, you are absolutely able to do that. So uh, stage of coup, best two out of three. Is that what you're saying? Best, best two out of three. Yeah. yeah oh, okay. oh, that, that's, that's exactly what I've been I've been waiting my turn. I, I think that the, alternatively, stage of coup, challenge the uh, the head of the club to a best two out of three, and. Um, uh, I haven't played Hearthstone in a little while, so I don't know what's good right now. Otherwise, I'd say something funny. <laughs> Probably bring your Druid deck. <laughs> druid deck, yeah, I agree. Druid decks yeah, are druid, great. Druid were just, they were just nuts last time I played. Do you go Werebear or Werewolf is the real question. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure what you meant to say was bring your uh, Paladin deck. Oh, Hammered in. You're going to go that you way. You want to bring yeah. in your Paladin. You want to go uh, Silver Might. That's where it's at. Silver? Oh, wait, are you Silver. talking actual things? Yeah, this is the real thing. Oh, I was Once just... a turn, you can summon a little dude, 1-1 one, one to the field. Yeah. He's fantastic. That's what I... That was, that was my deck. It was, uh, I forget what they were called. Silver Hands or something? Definitely so, sounds like you're speaking a language that I've never heard before. Silver Hand <laughs> Control is what I would call it, in my mind. Sure. Yeah. I was thinking that you were making a Diablo 2 reference because a druid is a character in Diablo 2. And, oh, okay, yeah. Paladin is also. Yeah. Okay, I'm seeing now. I'm seeing. <laughs> yeah, we're on the same page. How it all comes together. They're also both archetypes in, uh, or not archetypes, they're, they're in D&D, &D, so I've heard these Yeah, terms they're all just fantasy archetypes. Yeah. Sure, 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 sure. Oh, man. We so, got rocked. We should, got rocked. Should we do 3 think, So defensive. I feel like Derek is the only one who, I think Derek's the only one who got a kill. Is that true? Oh, did you get a kill? Yeah. yeah. I did not, yeah. No kidding. Jeez. Well, Stuff. Jorn is... Uh, Jorn is no joke. No uh, doubt we, about I think it. we have to... Oh, we have to... Uh, are you able to select yeah. yourself over there? Oops. Someone has to... Yeah, I think we need to re-enter oh. the amiibo. Huh? We need to... Because this is... Player 2, right here. This would be... Oh. Ah. Uh, I, I see. see. Yeah. So we have to throw Jorin yeah. back into the And make sure here. to set it as a team battle. Oh, oh right. thank you, Jordan. <laughs> We've only messed it up every time. We've only time. messed it up every single time. Yeah, indeed. There we go. Hey, look All at us right. go. We totally figured it out. Okay. Oops. Uh, who do I want to go with? Yeah, the fact well, that... You, had to, you, had to, you have to use the same Oh, I got to use the same guy. Okay, yeah. sorry. The sorry. fact that you collectively got one kill on Joran means that this could be an um, interesting battle. It's like it's such a defensive character. Like I was not able to do any damage whatsoever. Yeah, I was. It didn't hit. She's got hard. a lot of reach on her. Yeah, it didn't. What didn't hit very hard? But boy, oh my God, I can't even make it out what's going on. Have any of you ever felt yourself in a position, uh, rather than the person who feels like they're getting their toes stepped on, but realizing that you were stepping on someone else's toes before? Uh, yeah, that's a, that's a very good question. I feel I guess, like I probably uh, have then, but yeah, I, don't, yeah, I, can't actually, think of, I can't immediately think of an instance. I, so I, probably, yeah. I do specific, actually, yes, I do specifically know a time when I was doing this. Um, and I was very intentionally doing it because the uh, <laughs> said leader was a, like an ex-girlfriend and she was very uh, obviously treating me poorly. Sure, and, sure, um, sure. I was just like, okay, that's fine with me. Everyone here knows I have more experience than you, and uh, I'll just be snide and I'll just, I'll just be snide. Um, yeah, I feel like I feel like by the very nature of the situation, though, it's so easy to to not know if you if you've done this particular yeah, thing. Yeah, right. Like that's that's sort of what happened, right? Like, is is you you didn't realize you were doing it, um, which is a that's like an upsetting thought. In general, it's like, gosh, who's, whose lives have I ruined? <laughs> yeah, I have yeah. one of these. Who's out there? God, this guy had this manager, Ben Carlin. Oof, just the worst. 
Um, no, I, I had something kind of similar in marching band where I feel like uh, two of us felt like we were, like the other one was trying to take too much control and authority over a thing, and uh, we probably felt similarly about each other, like, oh, you're you're doing too much of this, and you know, this is my thing, and I want to do it. Um, it was like essentially field day for marching band kids, except it was spread out over a couple of days. It was supposed to be like a teen bonding. Experience. I love field day. Um, what is yeah. field day like for marching band kids, though? Like. Well, so we had themes where Walk. we had to dress Relay up walks different or days. Um, one day we actually even did Muggle Quidditch. Ooh! Oh my gosh. Super fun. Um, did you win? My class did not win, no. I was very sad. Oh. Um, but we played real, real well. Uh, we had a lot of heart. Yeah. <laughs> and that's what really coffee. matters. Um, but yeah, so eventually my band director just like pulled me aside and he's like, hey, this is the situation. Such and such has been complaining that you're doing too much because you have run Band Camp Olympics for the last two years. And she wants a go at it since it's also her senior year. And I'm like, but she never helped out with the first two years and she has no idea what she's doing. Sure, sure, sure. And he was like, which is why you're going to help and support her and make her feel like it's all her idea. And I'm like, great, I can do that. Um, and it ended up working out okay. It worked out <laughs> okay. Yeah. Code four, it didn't go well. Yeah. I, it it could have been like, better I if I'd done it on I my had, own. Yeah. That's what I'm hearing. Jordan's got some resentment. No, I, I would say that it, it went very well, but she had difficulty getting people to be more enthusiastic the first couple of days, and so then... I essentially bribed people to be more enthusiastic the last couple of days, and that that worked. You, you bribed you them? Hey, all right, I need to know I more don't about this. You bribed enthusiasm out of people? Uh, food, especially like freezy pops during Miami summertime. Mm -hmm. Pretty good bribery oh, for enthusiasm. What do you mean? Like you no, told them to food. act excited? Um, or, or like you were able to get them to be excited? I, I, I was able to get them to be excited with, um, with. With Freezy Pops. Pops. Okay, see, Jack that's Jack. different. That's not bribing. That's just being good at it. <sighs> yeah, I think that's... Yeah, Almost that's, had the flawless victory. I'm going to say, because bribing enthusiasm out of people seems to me like that's not a very good decision either. Man, I was less than helpful, guys. Less than helpful? What did yeah, you do? Just I, die? I had... No, I, had, I was zero, zero, zero. So... Well. Uh, but I only did 78 damage. Oh, there you go. I got her twice. Nice! Yeah. I thought that I'd gotten her twice. Must have been just uh, our tags hit oh, yeah. very close together. Yeah, just double smash, yeah. ricochet, jump ball. Yeah, I'm sure there's 50. plenty of that. I'm glad yeah. that at the end of the day, if we go three on one on a really difficult yeah, we can opponent, just, yeah, we, we can totally destroy <laughs> him. <laughs> <laughs> what a loser, Jordan. I feel My like God. we have to do that, though, because it allows me to leave these episodes feeling good. Yeah, right, like, okay, we, there's a chance. Right, we right. We can be beat. All right, well, I think we covered that question from just about every angle. Yeah, I, I, I hope so. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Let us know how the coup goes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Take them down. I think the only thing we didn't say was uh, sometimes in these leadership positions like this, it can feel like you're being stepped on, but there you might just have a lot to learn from this person. Like they might just be better than you and you just feel slighted because they're above you. But yeah. right. there, there are certainly situations where yeah, you, you feel like you know everything. Maybe you just don't yet. Maybe it's, maybe they don't even want that more leadership position. Maybe they want to actually have your job. Yeah, sure. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Stage Q. Right. That's yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it's, I, I know this. I know we were going super long here, but it is such a weird thing. The difference between natural leadership and elected leadership. Oh yeah. Mm. Where it's like natural leadership is like people look to you because because of nothing. Like nobody ever assigned you in charge. Right. They just look it to just, you anyway. It just seemed like they should listen to you. Right. Like yep. you were you were the person that just sort of rose to the top of the broth. Top of the broth. Yes. Top yes. of the broth. Is that where you want to be in soup? Top of the broth. Top of the broth. Yeah. I think so. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. I, it's the sentence I went with. So <laughs> within so this analogy. Is that a phrase? I've never heard it. No, no like I it. just made it up. Top of the broth. <laughs> top I like of it. The top of the broth. To you. Anyway, right. guys, that's the top of the broth, and we will see you next time. Chug the cannons, chug the cannons, boom, 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 we are not pirates.